Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for another winter decorating video. I wanted to show a few items that I thought I would use in my kitchen. Some are new and some I've had for a while. This vase is a new purchase. I thought it was so gorgeous with all the detailing and this was $29.99. I did also get this cute little birdhouse this year. I think it was only $5.99 and I thought it was so whimsical and cute, perfect for a winter space. These light up twigs I got last year from Michaels in this gorgeous gold color and I wasn't sure if I would use them but thought they would be so stunning maybe in that vessel I got. And then I also picked up these placemats. They almost look worn and kind of like a distressed leather look. So I thought those might be really pretty and I'm also going to use these plates that I used at Christmas. I love the tree pattern on them. So I am just so excited to to transform the kitchen into a winter wonderland. Last week I did decorate the dining room so I want to make these spaces flow together really nicely. I have a few of these almost wicker looking baskets. I like that they add a lot of warmth to a space. So I'm going to layer in my vase on top and then I had some really pretty flocked glittery greenery that I thought would look gorgeous in here. And to bring a little bit of dimension, I'm going to add in these snowflake picks. They're really wispy with the twigs and I thought they would be the perfect addition to the vase and really bring in that wintry feel that I'm going for. I've had this really pretty silver deer for a few years now. I think it's so stunning and I knew it would look really pretty on the kitchen island. And then to make everything feel extra cozy, I'm going to go in with this candle. And I just love burning candles, especially in the fall and winter. It just makes everything feel really inviting and warm. I love these placemats against the lighter counters. I think it's so pretty and I always love to decorate my island. You'll have to let me know if you are the same or if you like to keep yours really minimal and do food prep on yours. But I always look so forward to decorating this space and like I said, these plates, I did have them before Christmas. I got them from HomeSense but they work so well for winter and I know I'll use them for years to come. I did want to use some napkins so I was just showing you guys that these napkins match the placemats perfectly in the dining room so it just ties in the two spaces together really well and I love these napkin holders. I think they're so pretty. It kind of just reminds me of a big piece of ice which is perfect for winter. So I had to show little Holstein, here he is just hanging out on the couch and I was going to give him a treat so he gets so excited, he loves these freeze dried liver treats, they're his absolute favorite so we do pick them up for him a few times a year but I thought he looked so cute here, he was getting so excited because he knew I was breaking him off another piece so he definitely loves his little snacks but you'll have to let me know what you guys are up to this weekend if you have any exciting plans. We're just going to stay around the house and keep really cozy, but let me know in the comments what you guys are up to. I love adding little hand soaps by my kitchen sink, seasonal ones, and this Mrs. Meyer's Snowdrop scent smells amazing. It's very fresh and clean, so I thought that would be perfect for winter. And I absolutely love how the island turned out, and I do have my little wreaths that I used at Christmas on the bar stools. To break up my dark cabinets here in the kitchen, I'm going to go in with these wreaths and these cute little snowflakes. It definitely adds such a wintry feel and I love to add seasonal wreaths here. I have this really pretty Harvest Spice diffuser oil and lately I've been really loving to run this. It makes the house smell so amazing and just really adds another cozy aspect for winter. This diffuser was actually a gift from one of my friends many years ago. It has different light settings, but I typically always just keep it on the black one. Let me know if you guys use diffusers in your home. I know if you have pets, you have to be careful with the oils that you use, um, but the one I have is very safe. 
pine cones are such an easy and expensive way to decorate for winter in your home so I always love to layer these into my decor and I got these gorgeous candlesticks from Dollar Tree they were only a dollar 25 I believe and I think they're so stunning so I decided to tuck these in just to add another little layer and the last piece is this really pretty wooden snowflake from Michaels Moving over to the stove, I always love having a little bit of decor on here, so I'm going to add this really pretty Ray Dunn kettle. I've had this one for a while, and I decided to put the lettering to the back, and I was kind of going through some of my decor pieces I haven't used in a while, and I came across this really pretty vase, and I decided to fill it with some snow. I made an absolute mess. It went everywhere, <laughs> but it was really easy to clean up, and I love adding this snow to different vases it's so pretty so I just tucked in a pine cone and added a ribbon and I think it looks so elegant and pretty and I love that it disguises my clock because I don't like that showing the final little touch is this let it snow sign I think it's so adorable and ties the whole vignette in together and I'm gonna go in with this really pretty white tea towel just to bring a little bit of color to the stove Moving over to the other side of the oven, I have this really pretty cutting board. I got it on clearance, I think for $9. I love this piece, it's great for layering. And then I decided I would add this really pretty Magnolia Table Cookbook. I love that dark green color. It's perfect for this time of year. Because we live in Canada, winter can last for such a long time and adding all these cozy touches to our home makes it feel so nice, especially in the evenings when everything's dark. So to me, winter decorating is just a really nice way to prolong almost your Christmas decor and make everything feel extra cozy, especially if you live somewhere that's really cold and snowy and dark. And it definitely is like that in Southern Ontario. So warming up the space any way I can really helps those long winter months. I've really been loving different shaped vases and styles of vases. This one was only $9 and I thought it was so pretty. I just added some simple green stems and knew this would look so gorgeous tucked into the corner of the kitchen by that mug rack. This little snowflake plaque is so rustic and cute. I love the wood mixed with the metal. I think it's gorgeous. And then I had these little cute pair of skates. I can't remember even where I got these from, but I've decided to kind of wrap it around this pitcher and then tuck in a little pine cone. And I love how this corner turned out. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm always trying to disguise my outlets. We definitely don't use this outlet really, so I can hide it. But I'm gonna go in with this riser and these really pretty candles. They're trees, but they're actually candles. I never burn them. I think they're so gorgeous and sparkly and I love that beautiful green color. I think these lanterns are my most asked about items when I show them. I got them from Cozines, a local greenhouse. I have similar ones in my dining room that are black, but they're so pretty and I know there's similar ones on Amazon. They look so realistic. And then above the fridge, I thought I would use these really pretty baskets. I got them from a garage sale in the summer, I think for around $15. And I'm also going to layer in this really pretty hand towel. You'll have to let me know if you decorate for winter. I know it depends on where you live in the world. If you live somewhere really warm and tropical, I doubt you'd be decorating for winter, but I know a lot of us are experiencing a lot of cold and snow, and I wanna encourage you to just add a few little winter touches. It just helps so much, even with some ambient lighting. It really breaks up those long winter months, and I so look forward to coming home at the end of the day and spending some time around all my beautiful decor it makes me so happy and I just enjoy being able to bring these videos to each and every one of you every week 
I just wanted to take a moment to thank you all so much for watching and spending some time with Holstein and me today. It means so much to us and every comment, like, and share just helps my channel so much and I truly appreciate all of you. So I really wanted to take the time to thank you so much for watching and know that it means so much and I enjoy talking to you every week in the comments. So until the next video friends, I hope you have an amazing weekend and we'll talk soon. God bless.